There's always loads of different stories about different foods being good for you, great for weight loss, great for health, great for cardiovascular, great for your brain, all that kind of stuff. And then pretty much usually days later there's other stories of food which will kill you, cause you cancer, make you age, make your bones brittle and all that kind of stuff. But there are three things in this world which you cannot fail with in terms of being good for you, being good for your health. Um, so, I, and I'm not going to go into like, vegetables are good for you, fruit are good for you, meat is bad for you. I'm not going down the whole vegan line here. But, def without a doubt, you will always find very, very positive things for your body in, first, first of all, spices and herbs. I'm going to combine them as one thing. Um, if you're going from basil, sage, thyme, turmeric, ah, that's a spice. So uh, if you've got herbs there, and then spices like turmeric, paprika, cayenne pepper, all those, all of them are 100% healthy. There's never been somebody that's died from consuming too much turmeric. Uh, it's like, oh, I overdosed on basil yesterday. Never happened, never going to happen. Um, but what does happen is those things are every, pretty much every week there's another news story, another finding about either herbs or spices which are either very good for you, beat cancer, make you brainier, better for your health or something, uh, you know, reduce pain, reduce swelling. So like, if you go into your house and you have a, a herbs and spices cupboard, that should be your number one thing that you should be pouring into everything that you have if you want to be uh, like anti-cancer and super healthy. Um, for me, I usually do it with a lot of my pasta. Um, I will boil the pasta with all the uh, spices and herbs in it, so it ends up being kind of like spicy pasta. Even if I didn't even put the tomato, the tomato sauce stuff and the and uh, the olives and all that with it, but if I was just boiling the pasta, loads of paprika, loads of uh, turmeric, uh, basil, pepper, lots of pepper. No, again, nobody's died from too much pepper. Some people have coughed from it getting down their throat in the wrong way, but uh, pepper as well, yeah, black pepper, get that, get that in you. It's all good for you. Salt is the only thing I would say don't, because that's actually just a, a rock. So you don't, you don't really want to be overdosing rock. Uh, and again, if, if your coffee, instead of having sugar, stick in some cinnamon instead. Uh, it's a sweet, uh, is cinnamon a herb? No, cinnamon is a spice, a spice again. Um, and uh, yeah, so loads of, loads of positive things about herbs and spices, can't fail. Now, another thing which is an absolute no-brainer is, uh, that, that's always going to be good for you, um, is berries. And, and not just, not just berry berries, but things which are called berries but aren't even berries. Like a strawberry isn't actually a berry. Blackberry, blueberry, they're berries, but a strawberry isn't a berry. It's because it's got seeds on the outside. It's a bit weird. Um, however, you cannot go wrong with berries. Uh, so, and, and the darker, the better. So blueberries, they are incredibly good for you. Every week there'll be another story about how good blueberries are for you. And those blueberries, um, although they, on the outside they're very blue, on the inside they're green. It's amazing. Or sometimes they're white as well. Um, and, and the goodness bits are actually in the skin there. A lot of the things that you eat, that actual, some of the healthiest bits of it are in the skin. Like if you have salmon, some, you've really got to eat the skin of salmon. However, that's another thing. So uh, with blueberries, uh, blackberries, uh, cranberries, uh, pomegranate, is a, it's just a fruit, but the actual seeds that you have are oh, so good for you. Absolutely, a million times always good to be healthy for you. You can't go wrong. Uh, strawberries as well. They are always, they're low in calories. They are high in nutrients. So they are, and, and they're high in mass as well. So usually like a big amount and only comes up to like 100 calories. Uh, and uh, you're usually there stuffing your face for as long as you want. And your face goes all blue because you've eaten too many blackberries, kind of stuff like that. So blackberries, always 100%, always going to be healthy for you. Um, again, there's very few cases of people going, oh, that person died from eating too many blackberries. Not gonna happen, not gonna happen. And now the last one is uh, something, again, so it kind of comes under herbs, I suppose you could say, is teas. Teas uh, are incredibly good for you. Not not just black, well black tea is probably the least healthy for you, but green tea, fruit tea, other teas. Okay, I, I, I lost count there. Uh, <laughs> but um, 
Uh, coffee, not so good for you. Coffee does have many, many benefits. Uh, however, that is a, it's fairly processed. So it's the beans that's been roasted, that's been dried, and that's been ground down and all that kind of stuff. The, the more kind of off the plant you can get it, the better it is for you. So with teas, with black tea, again, that's teas that have been picked, they've been dried, they've been, I think they've been steamed, then dried and left out for ages, and then crumbled up. So they're not nearly as good as green tea, which is effectively just the plant leaf taken off and dried and put into a tea bag, which is considered to be, has a lot more antioxidants. Even better than green tea is matcha tea, which is the powdered form of it, uh, which is in incredibly powerful. I think it's got 170 times the amount of antioxidant powers as green tea itself, if you just use a quarter teaspoon into a cup. Amazingly powerful. And again, if you're having like fruit teas, so strawberry tea, or you're having uh, chamomile tea, or peppermint tea, and all that kind of stuff, again, all of it is always, always good for you. Again, nobody has died. Oh, they overdosed on peppermint tea. They they just turned into a giant polo mint and keeled over and died. That, no, that's never happened and is never going to happen. So those are the three things. If you want to always be super ultra healthy and have the most kind of strength against fighting cancers and all that kind of stuff, you've got your herbs and spices. I'm going to count that as one. Your uh, your berries, always your berries, like fruits in general, they're good. Some fruits are just more sugar than anything else. Like if you just have a big uh, banana, that's just mostly fructose kind of stuff. And then the last one is teas, uh, especially the fruity, uh, fruity and herbal teas that you can get. The, those are the three backbones for living healthy and for a long time, I think. There you go, bye-bye. One last thing is that if you are on my photography channel, you may not know that I've got two other channels. One is my exercise channel, which you can check out, which is Don Bauer Exercise. Uh, I think the actual name is just youtube.com forward slash Don Bauer. And I've also got another one on this channel. Uh, so this is, I've got Dom's Talks. And a lot of that is going to be about well, me dealing with my first ever newborn baby, uh, little Logan Bauer. Uh, born on the 4th of September, uh, and so I'm, I'm learning to be a dad. So it's all my mistakes and all the things which I'm learning which are quite useful. So if you want to see more about little Logan and how he's getting on, check out Dom's talks. And if you want to see, oh, I've also got Dom's flights as well. So uh, again, I'm doing a lot of stuff flying my DJI Phantom uh, around the places uh, and also going through the, the process of getting the, li the license to do it commercially. So if you want to see how I'm doing that, check out the Dom's Flights channel as well. I should put all the links to down below. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.